Zolo Q2000 Review Build Slash Design When you first look at the Zolo Q2000, you realize it's a big black slab with a utilitarian design, not evoking any emotions. The phone's front features its massive 5.5-inch chips display, the three capacitive touch buttons for navigating around the phone's interface place below it, and the sensor array in the front camera lens, placed above it. Enclosed in a plastic frame, the bottom edges out, creating a small chain-like extension left edge of the Zolo Q2000 features the power slash screen lock key, while the left edge houses the volume rocker. Both the keys are made of plastic and offer decent tactile feedback. The top edge sports the micro USB port and a 3.5mm headset jack. The edges feature a sturdy frame which appears to be made from polycarbonate, bearing a glossy finish. The back of the Zolo Q2000 features a thin plastic cover that hides the battery compartment holding a 2600 mAh battery apart from the SIM card and Micros card slots. The cover sports a matte finish and felt very flimsy in contrast to the otherwise sturdy build of the phone. A rectangular strip made from the same material that we have seen on the edges protrudes out, right at the top, featuring the rear camera lens. Display The Zolo Q2000 features a 5.5-inch chips display with a 720x1280 pixel resolution and pixel density of 267p. The panel supports 5-point multi-touch. Camera. The Zolo Q2000 features an 13-megapixel autofocus shooter that takes great images in daylight. Even in low-light conditions, apart from some noise, we felt that the rear shooter does a nice job of capturing stills. We were also satisfied with the quality of pictures taken by the Zolo Q2000 indoors, though we did find them should be a little grainy occasionally. Zolo Q2000 can record full HD videos and we found that the quality of videos captured through the back camera was good. It also offers eyes or electronic image stabilization to minimize distortions caused by shaking of hands while shooting a video. Unfortunately, the camera saves videos in the archaic .3GB file format. Software slash user interface the Zolo Q2000 runs Android 4.2.1, and the company has not customized the user interface much, except for offering four preloaded themes, namely Mint Mocha, Raspberry and the default theme that bring minor changes in the phone's color scheme. The notification tray on the Zolo Q2000 features a settings shortcut and a clear all notifications button, along with expandable notifications, expanded with a two-finger pull gesture. It features the same setting toggle shortcut that's found in stock Android and adds some of its own as well, for quick access to airplane mode, battery status Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, data connection, data usage audio profiles, brightness, screen backlight timeout and auto rotation. Performance slash battery life. The Zolo Q2000 is powered by a 1.2 GHz Mediatek Montana 6589 quad-core processor. It has 1 GB RAM on board, and Powerver SGX 544 MP chip for processing graphics. There is 8 GB of internal storage, which is expandable up to 32 GB via a Micros card. With Android 4.2.1 Jelly Bean, the overall experience of navigation through the interface was impressive, thanks to the phone's quad-core processor. We did not experience any lag while launching apps, scrolling web pages or switching between apps. Cool quality of the Zolo Q2000 was good during our testing process, and phone was also able to get a GPS lock rather easily while using the Maps app. The Zolo Q2000 comes with a 2600 mAh battery and based on our experience, it will last you a full day with medium to heavy usage including 1-1.5 hours of phone calls to email accounts with push notifications, screen at maximum brightness, playing some music and video clips, Twitter notifications and WhatsApp chats. It's also worth pointing out that we had turned off Wi-Fi and auto brightness, and the phone was hooked to a 3G network. Altering these settings might help in running the phone for a longer duration, depending on your usage pattern. Verdict. 
at a price of Rs. 14,999, the Zolo Q2000 is a good budget phablet that delivers decent performance, without burning a hole in your pocket. However, the display, which is one of the major factors for choosing a large screen device, could have been better in terms of resolution, and definitely in terms of overall touch sensitivity if you don't mind the non-expandable storage and are ready to shell out more. You can also take a look at the Micromeg Canvas Doodle 2. The Samsung Galaxy Mega 5.8 is also a similar device, though we weren't really satisfied with it in terms of hardware performance. If you can settle for a 5-inch screen, then the Zen Ultraphone 701 is our pick.